All right, well today I want to take a look at the Armitan Tadpole Frame. Most of the review videos I've seen on this are reviewing the entire quad, the, the pre-built quad that Armitan tends to send out when they send frames out for review. Now, as far as I can tell, Armitan isn't even offering a pre-built quad with this frame. They may be in the future, but they certainly aren't now. So I want to review just the frame itself. We're going to pull it out, see what comes with it, uh, put it together without anything in it, because depending on what parts you use, what hardware you stick inside of it, you could make a million different quads out of this frame. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get this out of the package. We'll take a look at what comes with it. I want to talk about their warranty, which is pretty cool. Did some research into that. And then I want to talk about some giveaways that I'm going to be having coming up in the future. Uh, if you're interested in giveaways, if you're interested in getting free stuff, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified of when I release new videos because I've got those giveaways coming up soon and with YouTube's algorithm if you aren't subscribed and you don't hit the bell you might not know about them and then you can't win. So let's get this all out of the package and then we'll take a look and see what comes with it and see how it looks. Okay so here's what comes in the package. We get the frame itself, we get another bag that comes with the top plate, the camera mounts which are aluminum which seem really high quality, I like that. A battery pad, which is foam. I probably won't use this. I'll probably use a silicon pad. I like them. They have better stiction to the batteries. The rear uprights for the top plate. Uh, a couple more pieces of foam. I guess these may be for the bottom. Not sure. And then we've got a antenna mount, it looks like. And some screws. We also get a couple of battery straps. And, nicely, some directions. A lot of frames and FPV stuff comes with no directions at all and you're kind of left to figure it out for yourself which is really really nice. Now my frame also came with the whoop mount for flight controllers. I don't think that they come automatically with the frames. I think just the first batch came with these so if you are wanting to do a whoop all in one you're going to want to have to pick this up as well and it comes with the mounting hardware for that. So the frame itself is set up for 16 by 16 stacks. And then it has 9mm bolt spacing mounts for the motors. It has a little bit of nice protection here for the motors. It is, looks like, 2mm thick carbon for the main plate. It is not chamfered, but it does appear to be pretty well, pretty well cut out. It feels reasonably stiff. I think it's about what you'd expect. This has a, looks like maybe a serial number on it? I'm not sure. Overall, looks to be pretty nice, kind of what you'd expect. The whoop adapter mounts up just like so and allows you to use standard whoop mounting for flight controllers, which is really nice. Now, Armitan offers a bunch of different things you can buy from them to basically build your own quad, I guess, to their specification um, on their site where they, where they sell the frame. The prices seem pretty good. I didn't really see anything crazy or out of line. So if you want to order that stuff from them, that's that's great. Otherwise, you know, you've got a lot of different options from FPV cycle for motors and things like that. I will probably be using FPV cycle motors on this, a Runcam Nano 2. I'm going to be using a Whoopworks. I have one and just a few other things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this together without any hardware in it just to see how it goes together and then we'll take a look at it. Now I will be doing a build of this later on but for now we're just looking at the frame itself because that's probably what you're going to be buying. Let's go ahead and get this put together. Alright so first step according to directions is to smoosh this antenna mount into the rear uprights so I've done that. And now it's telling us to just go ahead and mount this and the camera mount to the base plate so let's get that done. Alright, so that's the bottom put together. Now if you're going to be using the Whoop adapter, you probably want to install that now. But next step is they tell you to go ahead and cut out these landing pads. I'm probably not going to put them on the bottom. I don't really ever use these foam pads, so we'll just set those aside. So now they want you to go ahead and install the top plate. And that's going to be pretty much all there is to it for this. So let's get these bolts in for the top plate. All right. And that's pretty much it for the assembly of the Armitan Tadpole. There seems to be a decent amount of room in here for a 
16 by 16 stack, you'll probably be able to get, you know, the, the three layers that you would in a normal 16 by 16 stack. And then you have some room behind here as well for receivers and whatnot. So Armitan's warranty is really awesome. Basically, they have a lifetime warranty on the frame. This, this frame is covered under that lifetime warranty. If you damage this frame, they will replace it for free, or the replace, replace the damaged parts at least for free. Basically, you will take pictures, and there's the little procedure you have to go through where you take pictures of the damage with, the, with your own information, and then you send that to them, and then they want you to, once they approve the warranty claim, they want you to scratch up the part so that you're, you know, I guess, so you don't use it again or whatever. And then they'll give you a coupon for a free part. Now, not sure if that includes shipping or not. I haven't really been able to test that, but um, it's still a pretty cool thing because they're the only company in the industry that I know that offers a warranty like that. Now, this frame is extremely well built. I really love how this design is super simple to go together. The only downside, of course, is it's expensive. It's like, uh, you know, almost 40 bucks. So it's not a cheap frame, but. You, you, in this case, you really do get what you pay for. I really, really like this. Now, it has this pad to go on top up here because the battery is designed to go on the top. And, of course, you just run straps through here. I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably use a silicon pad instead because I like those better. I might try this because it, it is nice and it came with it. Of course, a lot of how this thing flies, like I said before, is going to depend on what hardware you use, how you tune it, what version of Betaflight, are you using RPM filters, etc., etc. So... This is a great starting platform for this size of quad. And just as a size comparison real quick, because it may be kind of hard to tell, here is my Tiny Hawk Freestyle. You can see that the frame size is, is very similar between the two. So that, that's basically what you're going to be getting. Basically a Tiny Hawk Freestyle size frame. So oh, let's check the weight real quick. So as it sits, we'll put the little foam pad on top. Without the Whoop flight controller adapter, it weighs just a shade under 18 grams. So, all right, guys. Well, I really appreciate you watching. I appreciate you subscribing. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up. We've got, like I said, we've got some really sweet giveaways coming up and some good reviews. So if you're interested in those things, make sure you're subscribed. And I will talk to you soon.